In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to make your own sourdough starter or cultivate your own yeast. It's free, comes from the air, no real reason to go out and, you know, buy it. So, anyways, with that said, all you're going to need is flour and water. It's very simple. So, basically, equal weight. Uh, so equal weight of water to equal weight of flour and the easiest way to do that that I've seen uh, was basically three tablespoons of flour to two tablespoons of water and you do it daily you feed it daily and uh, and basically it'll take a few days before you start getting bubbles and stuff so yeah and, and then obviously it's gonna grow just like any other sourdough start it'll start growing I recommend a glass container Leave it out on the counter, get one of these nice glass and containers, take off the rubber seal so you can close it up and there will be a gap for it to breathe. And you want to stir this once a day. So once it actually starts bubbling, you have two choices. You could either uh, keep feeding it once a day. Of course, it's obviously going to grow. It'll, it'll fill this up pretty quickly. But also, you can put it in the fridge and you'll only have to really feed it like once every few days like five days or whatever because it just slows down the process so anyways if you go too long without feeding it um it could dry out and die or really uh slow down and struggle to come back to its former glory so anyways uh yeah on my last batch i i actually did the opposite i had my numbers mixed around and i i put in two tablespoons of flour and uh, three tablespoons of water I basically drenched this so this is a little bit milky for what it actually needs to be so I'm just gonna be adding in some more flour and yeah and trying to thicken this up a little bit and take away some of the you know moisture so don't mind if I do so it's just a rough guess I'm going off feel uh, from my experience on doing this so yeah that was my mess up so i've got to correct it but yeah when the germs do come in and stuff they'll they'll enjoy it it'll feed it for a good amount of time so yep so it's free you don't really need to go to the store and freak out because they don't have yeast because everybody's panicking because they don't know how to make their own yeast this is something that's been going on for hundreds of years. They thought it was magic up until the 1800s when they actually figured out what yeast was. So that's an interesting piece of history. They thought it was divine that uh, the bread was growing. Because if you grow or if you um, bake bread without yeast in it and without the yeast growing or whatever, you're really not going to get much growing. I mean, there are other ways of leavening, but you basically got to see it bubbling first. So there wasn't really much of an understanding necessarily at first, at least in some cultures. So that was a, that's kind of interesting history behind it. So it's not really the work of God. It's just, you know, science. So anyways, use some science, you know, save some money, just get a bunch of flour and, you know, you can make your own sourdough bread or anything that requires leavening. So, and have your own sourdough starter, cultivate your own yeast out of the bacteria that's out of the air. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment below and you guys have a good one.